What's going on everybody? It's your boy Crypto. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video on straight up stealing Randolph's idea because he's done it to me in the past with the YouTube rapper tier list. Uh, he shouted me out in that. Quadeca took it from him too. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing a KSI Dissimulation Deluxe Version tier list. Uh, I've been wanting to do an album review, but I didn't want to like do it the standard way. I wanted to make it fun for myself mainly, and I guess fun for you guys too. Um, so I'm going to do it in a tier list. I'm just going to rate each song individually how I like them, and then we'll talk about the whole album cohesively at the end. So we're going to be looking at songs like Down Like That, Millions, Killer Killer, Wake Up Call, Domain. I really wish Domain was the intro track to the album though. Can you imagine if the album started like that? That instrumental's so hard. Like that would be dope. You can just imagine the album. It's like da 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 This is a this is a dope game. Download and go play. Right now ain't no way. Not so cold like a snow day. Battling enemies across the wide world in these dragons, golem, spiders, knights, ignite a fight and get to serving hell to the enemy. Anybody who's listening, a great champion to a hundred like a centipede. The possibilities are infinity when you click the screen. If you win a couple of the turnies, you can get some energy or silver. Build up your squad, stack some gems and open some charge. On iOS or desktop or Android, any platform, boy, you can be a god. Cause you know I'm a dog like Gormass, but it's average at best like your rap. So I'm stacking these coins, G massively hoarding. So I snag a pack of 10 gems and reward me. tricking you guys shout out to raid shadow legends for sponsoring this video guys please go show them some love it's a free to play game you can get it on desktop like i have right here you can also get it on ios mobile or android mobile it's everywhere if you are a new player go download to the description use my link and download raid shadow legends using that you will get 100,000 silver which is pretty nice to start off the game with in addition you do get two clan boss keys you also get a brand new champion who is a beast his name is the executioner and it's basically unfair to have him to start off with but you also get 10 mystery shards and these things are cool because you can pretty much test your luck to see if you can get some cool new champions in the game sometimes the champions are dope and can kick the crap out of everybody like the woad painted right here sometimes they're not so dope like old wretch right here but even if you get a not so dope one you can sacrifice it to upgrade some other champions so they are dope it's all dope everything's dope now this stuff's only going to be available for the next 30 days so if you guys want all this cool stuff make sure you go down to the description use my link download it after you make your id you'll just go up here to the top right corner you'll click that little button right there that's your inbox that's where all your rewards are going to be you'll just click collect and you'll get all the fun stuff so shout out to ray shadow legends for sponsoring this video all righty now to the meat and bones of the video here we go we're going to get right on into this this is all the songs off of the deluxe album including the one by your boy and uh, we're just going to rate them how I have felt about them. I'm not going to play any of the audio to this because I don't want this video to get claimed, okay? All my other videos have been claimed. I, I got to start making a little bit of money, okay? Okay, so the first song on the album is What You've Been On. And Joey and I talked about this on our podcast over on the second channel. It's the Papa Do podcast. Uh, but I would not have picked this to be the opening song on the album. I 100% would have picked Domain. But once I listen to the entire album, I can see why this is the song that they picked to be first in the album. Like, there's so much that goes into albums, guys. And, like, track list is a huge thing that not a lot of people really focus on. It's what helps tell the story and what helps keep the mood going. Like, it is a very scientific thing that you have to do with that. And uh, I can see why this is the first song, but I still personally probably would not have picked this for it. Now, uh, it does have some mainstream elements into it, which this whole album does. You can easily tell they were going for a very mainstream sound. Uh, I really like the melody that he has on this. It's like, I thought the thing with the DNA, da 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 Like, it was, a, it was a really cool melody. I liked hearing it from him. The autotune wasn't crazy on this one. Like, the, the harmony that was with the autotune was way better than a lot of the other songs on this. There are some songs on here that had some really pitchy autotune stuff. So, I like this song. Um, I probably wouldn't put it in the, t the top part of it. It's definitely not in the bottom. It's right there in the middle for me. So, I think this is a very solid... Uh, I put this right there with good. I think it's a good song. Uh, I'm not going to skip it by any means, but I'm not going to play it over and over again like I would some of the other songs on here. So, starting off, I think What You've Been On is a good song, and we'll keep it moving forward. Up next, we got Cap. And uh, no Cap, I don't like this song. <laughs> uh, I, I did a reaction to it. I thought the song would grow on me a little bit. It has not. I've listened to the album four or five times now, and uh, I skip the song every time. I'm just not a fan of it. It has the overloaded autotune in the beginning for me. Like, when, they, when you can't hear the beat and you hear KSI on the hook, it's like, 
I cannot pretend if I don't. Like, the first part of it, it just sounded, like, super robotic to me. And, like, it sounded like he was recorded in a big echo-filled room. Like, there was no foam anywhere. It just, like, it did not sound good to me. And, you know, Offset did great on his verse. A case I did not do bad on his verse. But, like, listenability-wise, I just don't like the song. And I, I skip it every time. So this is a skip song for me. Moving forward, we got Poppin' the Original. Uh, I really like this song. The beat is insane. I think it's a very fun filled song. I know a lot of people don't particularly like this. I think I saw where Randolph and Mini Mentor put this as a big skip, like the worst song on the album. Uh, I completely disagree with this. I think this song is perfect for this album. It is a fun song. It's a club song. Uh, it, it's just easy to listen to. And like the beat is dope. Like I just like it a lot. So I, I think this one, I put this one as a banger. Like popping is a banger. And I don't care what you say. I've, I've seen a lot of people not think that Poppin' is a banger. Poppin's a fucking banger. Even little pumps like HK, Red Dot, my neck, got Ebola, something, Corona, blah, 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 blah. Like, even that, like, it's just, that is the way the song is supposed to sound. And, like, I'm not a huge fan of mainstream sound, but this song, for whatever reason, it, like, sounded very, very appealing to me. So I, I just, you know, I, I fucked with it. By the way, this isn't, like, gospel or anything like that. It's totally okay for you to disagree with my decisions on this. Feel free to comment down below. I'm very interested to see what you guys think about this as well. But yeah, poppin' banger! Up next, Houdini. God dang, Houdini! Oh, my God! Instant God tears song. God, dude, Houdini will be around for years. I am telling you right now, it's going to be, like, a summer classic song. It's going to reach worldwide. It will be a classic song for years to come such an easy easy fucking song to listen to ksi was 100 in his pocket sounded super comfortable on this and it, like it's very easy to listen to i fucking love this song it's amazing whoever wrote this song whoever helped orchestrate all this you guys literally could not have done a better job except for ksi's little bit of a corny line talking about the fourth letter of the alphabet getting bigger but i'll let it pass because the song is just so fucking fire so this is 100 a god tier song Houdini. All right, up next, we got Bad Little Vibe featuring Jeremiah. Is, is it Jeremiah or Jeremiah? I, I think it's Jeremiah the way it's spelled. But uh, yeah, dude, this hook, very, very catchy, very nice hook. Even though uh, he didn't write it, that's what Joey told me. Still, very nice, catchy hook. KSI had some really dope harmonies in this. I think he sounded great on this. The autotune really worked for him on this. Uh, really, really solid, solid song. And like, just that hook is so different. Like, the high, the high, tone that it had, it had like the bad little vibe like the you know what i'm talking about i don't know what i'm trying to say it just sounds dope i like this song uh i it's 100 a banger i don't know if it's god tier or not uh but absolutely a banger it's very easy to listen to okay up next we got how it feel and uh this is just how i feel i feel like this is the worst song on the album if i had to pick a worse song i do not like this song man uh just the autotune was overloaded for me and just like how it feel like i just i didn't like i didn't like it man um you know it's just it's just not for me i skip it every time when i play this album and it's just it, it is what it is let me know what you guys think but like there, there's not much to talk about with this song. It just it, it left a lot to be desired for me. I just wasn't feeling it. No pun intended. Or pun intended, however you want to feel. All right, next, we got Wake Up Call with Trippy Red. Uh, very, very catchy hook. Not a big fan of KSI's verses on this song. I wouldn't say this song is a skip, because like I said, I do enjoy the hook on this. I'm just not a big fan of the verse. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put it as all right, but it's it's a skip for me. Just because it's not my style, and I, I do skip it whenever it comes up in the playlist. But it is a very catchy hook, so I'm going to put it as alright for that specific reason. Up next, we got Killer Killer featuring Ayana Lee, and oh my god. Oh, oh, straight ejaculation erection from my penis listening to this song. God tier song. God tier song. And if you think otherwise, God tier suck my dick. Okay, this is a great song. I love this song. The hook is amazing. I told Joey, like, I don't care if KSI got on there and just put the mic in his ass and just shit the whole time. This song would still be God tier because that hook is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but his verse was pretty dope. He definitely, you know, he didn't, like, go spazzy crazy on it. But I, I love the energy that he had on there, especially starting off like, Hell no, you don't know who you fucking with. That girl got a look in her eyes and then make the devil smile. Like, it's so good, dude. Such a good song. So, Killer Killer, 
God tier song. Up next, we got Domain, the Ray Chatter Legend song that I did earlier on. Uh, you know, I really do like this song a lot. I personally would have chose this to be the first song that popped up on the album to introduce it to everybody, just because that beat is so it's so simple but hard at the at the same time. SX did an amazing job with this beat. Um, I'm gonna put this as banger. I won't put it at God tier strictly because there are some things that are harder for me to hear, and like I have to listen to a couple verses over and over again to like really understand what he's saying and that's partially you know the uk versus american accent thing trying to understand it but there there are some stuff where i felt like he got a little lax on the recording of this song but the, dude his energy throughout this entire song is fucking crazy uh the the hook is pretty dope it gets stuck in your head it's just a domain and i buy propane like it, it just gets stuck in your head so absolutely 100 percent a banger next we have the greatest song that anyone has ever made on youtube down like that i love down like that uh and i think this is strictly because of the memory that comes along with this i mean obviously i reacted to it whenever it came out but like hearing this over the loudspeakers on the tv and like at the staples center watching him come out to this song for his boxing fight versus logan paul uh hard dick okay just like hearing that the the vibes it reminded me of like walking out to music uh during football games and baseball games and stuff just like it, it brought me back to all that the hypeness that was surrounded by sports growing up so 100 percent, i fucking love this song i will always love this song sx did an amazing job the verses are all really good like it's just it's dope dude i oh such a good song up next we have undefeated and uh, I'm, I'm a little wishy-washy on this one it's definitely not a skip. I do like this, and he has some really, really cool... Oh, that's what I remember about this one. He has some really good harmonies in the hook, like the doubles in the background. He harmonizes with himself extremely well, and this is a, it's a good example of how the autotune worked in the album uh, as opposed to when it didn't work in the album. This was, like, super clean, really easy, tight autotune. Sounded great. Uh, so I'm going to put Undefeated as good. It's not a banger for me personally just because I, I don't have it, like, stuck in my head like the other bangers that I do, and it's better than... Wake up call definitely better than the skips so 100 i put that at good it's it's on the same level as what you've been on i think that's pretty fair moving forward we have millions and i was super excited for this song because i remember listening to ksi talk about how this was going to be the emotional track off of the album and then we got to it and i was just like you know i can appreciate this song i appreciate him talking about this but like i just i didn't connect with it uh, his voice was just super super somber and I, it just didn't feel genuine or maybe he was just like so distraught and so upset that he didn't want to make this song but he knew he had to e either way it just didn't connect with me on a way that is as, like a sad or emotional serious song is supposed to but like i said i really do appreciate the fact that he was able to dig deep and pull some of this stuff out for him so i'm gonna for that reason i'm gonna put it in all right i do listen to it every now and again because for whatever reason part of the hook does get stuck in my head but there is that also that robotic y autotune that is on cap the like the exact same sound effect where it's like an echoey robotic thing that happens uh but the second half of the hook I do, you know, it does get kind of stuck in my head. So we're going to put that at all right. All right, moving forward, we have The Complicated, uh, which is the other like halfway emotional song in this where he talked about some more deeper stuff. I think it is the better of the emotional tracks on this album. There are some high points to this, and there's also some really low points to this as well. He had a really good harmony in the hook on this, and he had the mainstream vibes like, mana, 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 man, whoa. Like it is like the straight, straight up mainstream flow. Uh, and like I said, he had some really nice harmonies at the end. He sounded great. But um, before leading up to the hook, he did this like mumble thing with like a really deep voice and the autotune pitched on it. And like, I, I don't know a single fucking word that he said. And it ruined it, man. It like straight up ruined the song for me. So I'm going to put that at good because i think it had a lot of potential i do think it's better than millions so i'm gonna put it right up there with good all right up next we have ties featuring aj tracy and a uh, rich the kid and this one's this one's tough for me man because it's like right on the teeter of god tier and banger for me i think joey and i we talked about this one as well and i think i had this at like number four on the album for me and like list of songs that i really liked um but dude it, like ksi sounded fucking amazing on this aj tracy went off rich the kid sounded pretty good uh but like i was super impressed with ksi's hook ability on this and like it just gets stuck in your head very easy hook to listen to easy song to listen to and uh, you know it, it was weird because he says bad little vibe and the hook of this as well and like he has the song bad little vibe so i didn't know like exactly what happened there i know this used to be the song that was like untitled like whenever they were doing the album review party or something like that um 
So yeah, I, this song is teetering right there, man. I know people are saying this is, a lot of people think this is the best song on the deluxe version of the album, like the new songs. And like, I just don't know if it's God tier or not. Let me listen to it real quick. Ah, dude, I just don't know because the hook is so good. But then it just like kind of dies a little bit for me in the verse. Uh, I 100% would listen to this a ton. I'm going to put this... Bad Little Vibe's gonna be a banger for me, guys. I can't put it in God's here. I'm sorry! I just can't, but, like, I look at it next to these other songs that are in the banger list, and I would play them just as much, but I would definitely play the God tier songs more than I would play the banger tier songs. So, I, I'm wanting... I, I'm... You know, I can live with this. I can live with the clean conscience putting it tied as a banger instead of God tier. All right, moving on into the last two. We got, uh, let's see, Night to Remember featuring SX and British Crypt. Uh, I like this song. I think the hook is really good. Uh, you know, SX, he's just a hook master, dude. He does great. Uh, British Crypt didn't really come full gas on his verse. It wasn't bad whatsoever, but, like, it just... The song itself didn't feel like it was all there for me. But they did say that they wrote this, like, a year ago. And it, it, there's a reason it's on the deluxe album instead of the main one. So this song, it's not a skip because I do like the hook on it a lot. I'm going to put it right here as good because I think, you know, KSI sounded great on his verse. British Crip did his thing. It wasn't, like, crazy good. I've heard him do better. Uh, I I don't know if I've heard him do worse. I haven't heard a lot of British, British Crip's music. But, uh, yeah, I, I think good is a good place to put night to remember i love randolph dude i think <laughs> i don't think randolph understands my personality yet because i'm like constantly fucking with him and that means that i like him like i've been telling him i want to fight him calling him british crypt like randolph i fuck with you bro you're dope and then we got the last song of the album ending it off with a fucking banger it's not a banger it's it's really not a banger um the reason being is because like everybody's pretty much already heard the verse they knew what the song was going to be like in case i had the same verse it's, it's my verse from the pop and challenge uh so i, I think personally Honestly, I wouldn't call it a skip for me because, you know, it is me and I'm a narcissist and I like listening to myself. And it's definitely better than all right. So I'm going to put this as good as well just because, like, everybody already knew what was going to happen. If nobody knew, like, what my verse sounded like or if nobody, if KSI did a different verse, if we both did different verses, I think we had the potential to make another banger. I don't know about God here, but I think we could have made another banger. But being the fact that everything was pretty much already pre-released, uh, I'm going to put it right there with good. And this is my tier list. Let me know what you guys think. We got the God tier songs of Houdini, Killa Killa, and Down Like That. 100% happy with that. Banger, we got Poppin', Bad Lil' Vibe, Domain, and Tides. I know people are probably going to crucify me that I don't have Tides as a God tier, but, you know, this is my list. You go make your own comments. You know, leave me your comments. I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, the good songs, I've got What You've Been On, Undefeated, Complicated, Night to Remember, and Poppin', Remix. I can deal with that as well. All right, we got Wake Up Call, Millions, Skip, we got Cap, and How It Feel. I like this list. I think this is a really fucking good list. You know, this is a perfect list. This is better than any other list that is out there. I wonder how this compares to Randolph's and Mini Mentors. I actually want to look real quick. All right, so they're God-tier songs. They got Houdini and Bad Lil' Vibe, Killa Killa, Down Like That, and Unknown Track 16. Oh, that's Tides. Okay, that's what they were talking about. Okay. And then in their Banger section or the Will Pop Off 100% section, they got What You Been On, How It Feel, Domain, Millions, Undefeated, Night to Remember. Okay, so the only one we have in common there is Domain. They got Cap as an all right song. I put Cap as a skip. Wake Up Call's in the same spot, but they got Poppin' all the way down here. They got both Poppins down here, so they they hating. Big hating! Okay, so we, like, you know, 70% agree, 75% agree on this. So, I, you know, I'm not too outlandish. I don't know. This is my list. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Please comment your list down below. I would love to see what you guys think about this. I'm, I'm excited to see some of these other responses and uh, all this other stuff. Uh, but yeah, real quick before the video ends, guys, I do have new merch in stock. These are the yellow hoodies. I've also got blue. Uh, we're getting orange in stock. They might be in the store by the time you guys see this video. I got more red. I got more green. I got purple. I'm getting t-shirts. Like, I got a ton of stuff. Uh, it's all in my store, www.cryptherapper.com. Everything will be there. But that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Let me know what you guys thought. Please comment your own tier list down below in the the comments and until next time guys it has been your boy crit 15,000 likes and i'll do an everything great about ksi's dissimulation those videos are hard and i'd love to do that but let me know until next time guys it has been your boy crypt and i'm signing out blah Whoa, did you forget about me on the low since you don't want it up and went wrong i guess i thought that you could change you got me lost in a summer rain i was down but i'm not enough you were always down, I guess not for us It's time to move on and I know it's tough But I'm better off without the you and I